Bruni Alaf is going from one doctor's appointment to the next and trying to balance everything in between. But what I do have to do is kind of um, cycle through them every three months or so. I get a new one because they start to pick up odors. They kind of get dirty and worn and um, pick up odors. So I get a new one every few months or so. I would say morning, but it's 3.30 and I still haven't gotten the vlog up because I was too sick to edit it last night and I haven't been able to edit it today so yet because between being too sick and having a nap and not going to get a video off of my mom's phone by the time mom was getting it so I could use it for the video. So I finally got that video off her phone so I'm about to start doing the vlog and get that up. but. I really, really overdid it yesterday. I knew I overdid it, but there was no option. I had to do everything I did, and I'm paying for it today. My limbs are so wobbly, and I just feel pretty miserable, guys. I feel feverish, and just the idea of getting back up, but no, no, it doesn't work. So, I had a record, but I opened my camera, I saw the battery it wasn't it was in the charger, so I was like, text mom, I was like, can you help me? <laughs> so she came and got the good camera battery so I could film. So I'm about to edit and I'll see y'all in a bit. Hi guys, um, so I'm sorry I didn't really pick up the camera yesterday. Again, like, I wanted to, but we got out of Jackson pretty late last night. Um, there was kind of a mix up. We checked in for my EEG and then we were sitting and admitting and they were supposed to get somebody from transport to take us back to my room for the EEG and we sat there for almost an hour and nobody came and then we ended up getting a call um somebody asking why we weren't at the procedure yet and ended up on the phone the ladies from the room had to walk us back there because nobody ever came to pick us up so we got like an hour behind schedule for my test which meant we got like an hour late out of town and now that we're I think we like fall back daylight savings it was really dark by the time we got out of town and we were like trying to get out of town and there was traffic and it was just yeah so mom and I were both really tired and um but the EEG did go really well I did not react which was amazing. We were holding our breath for that. Um, and I didn't react, which was great. The EEG went well. Um, it was a bit exhausting. There was stuff in there that was just really tiring. I mean, you had to do like these breathing things and um, they flash a strobe light in your face, which is not fun. I hate strobe lights because they make me feel sick. And, um, I thought I was going to throw up or maybe just pass out, but, um, I didn't, but I did have, like, some twitchy responses, so I'm not sure. You won't know the results of the EEG until my doctor reads them and calls us back, so next week, unless she's on vacation for the holidays, and so then maybe the week after, but we will be seeing her the week after Thanksgiving. So we'll be going back to Jackson right after Thanksgiving. But um yeah, the EEG did go well. Really liked my nurses, which helps a lot. It's really helpful when your nurses are good. Um and yeah, I was gonna film some when I got home last night, but I was just really tired and exhausted and hurting from the road. So I basically just collapsed in bed and watched the office until I went to sleep. <laughs> um but yep. Uh so far today, it's been very calm, which is nice. Um, our driveway is broken, which is strange. Um, <laughs> uh, but Mama just got off the phone with the guy, and he's been really nice about it. He was really apologetic, and uh, he said he's going to get in touch with somebody he knows 
and that he'll have him call us first thing Monday. So hopefully we can get that fixed before Thanksgiving. Um, really hoping. Um, so there's that, and yeah. So far today is just I think gonna be a home day. Don't want to do anything today, and I'm just gonna be doing what I usually do, which is just chill in bed. I'm gonna try and do some more writing, which I did get some writing done in the car yesterday, which was nice. I'm gonna try and do some more of that. Keep binge watching The Office. I've never seen it before. I'm trying to get through the series. Um, and I think I'm somewhere in season six right now. Um, I also, I got a new vlog mask. Um, I use vlog masks because of my muscle stuff. Um, I have muscle activation syndrome. It's a mouthful. Call it MCAS for short. Um, and I'm very sensitive to smells. I have gone into anaphylaxis because of smells. <laughs> um, and it's something my allergist is a bit befuddled about. Something we still try to um, prevent as much as we can. And it's not a perfect system. It doesn't block out all smells, but it does the best it can. Um, it can generally protect me from most smells and at the very least it can give me enough time to block the smell so that I can get away from it before it really gets to me um, it's basically a fabric mask and it's got this um, N99 filter on it and the it's made with um, activated charcoal which basically helps filter out smells better than just like a regular fabric or medical mask and not everybody can tolerate it some people can't um, use these but thankfully I can which is good somehow with all my allergies but what I do have to do is kind of um, cycle through them every three months or so I get a new one because they start to pick up odors they kind of get dirty and worn and um, pick up odors so I get a new one every few months or so and I like to get a new pattern when I do and so this time I got this and it's kind of just got like this kind of looks like a what's that like a cybernetics board I don't know if that's right but uh it just kind of looks like a cool board thingy computer geeky thing. <laughs> I'm a nerd okay I'm not a techie. I'm a nerd. I'm a, I'm a book girl. I'd have to Google this to know what it's called. But it looks cool. I put it on and it looks cool too. So I like to get cool patterns. So um, yeah. So that's today.
rough day with my health, but stress-wise, much better than yesterday. Yesterday was not good stress-wise, but today was much better. I mean, when I stood, I stopped getting like, really sick and feverish and almost fall over. So I stayed in bed. And I just got up and I needed food or water or coffee. And <laughs> then I get right back in bed. And so <laughs> I've been feeling better throughout the day, though. And I'm doing a lot better now, so I'm sure by the time I get a good night's sleep, I will be all better tomorrow and ready to tackle Thanksgiving prep orations because tomorrow is Sunday I think yeah I think it's Sunday and so the first day of Thanksgiving week and so <laughs> we need to take the turkey out to thaw I need I want to make some cookie dough and freeze it so that way I can take it out and bake it on Friday because we'll be having some family over to eat Thanksgiving leftovers and to decorate for Christmas and so that'll be a lot of fun and so I want to make the cookie dough in advance and freeze it so I don't have to try to do that after being exhausted from Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, a bit difficult day, but as you can probably tell by my, um, blanking on words, my expression, my demeanor, there it is, my demeanor, I'm feeling a whole lot better than I was earlier. And like, basically, all day. <laughs> But I got to finish the anime I mentioned watching last night, um, is The Rabbit in Order. It was so cute, so much kawaii, all the moe, I really, really liked it. I, every single episode made me like it even more, and I loved, thought that it was a Christmas episode. I've been wanting good Christmas episodes, and that was a really good one. Um, Tour Doors Christmas episode, I think is my favorite Christmas episode, though. But, oh, I'm so tired. I'm tired now, but I was so much more tired most of the day, actually, just because of the fatigue from being so sick. But I just really overdid it yesterday. I mean, I didn't have a choice. I knew that the whole day. Like, I kept thinking, oh, I need, I'm need, i overdoing it, but I couldn't stop because I'm on calendar out of town, and we had to get stuff done by a certain time, and unexpected stuff happened. And So, some days with granite illness, you have to push yourself too much, even when you know it's going to be bad but I'm just thankful that it seems like I only need one day to recover from it because a lot of times when you I push myself at chronic illness I have had to take like uh, sometimes a week sometimes months to recover when it's really bad because it just sends your health into a down spiral so I'm thankful that my health has been improving lately really really thankful for that and Oh, that reminds me, I think I have a doctor appointment to stay with my cardiologist. <laughs> I think Hannah has one with him Monday, and Kellen also sees him the same day as I do. We'll be busy this week, guys. Thanksgiving, a doc three doctor appointments, family over on Friday. Grocery Molly has to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. Spoon and laugh is going from one doctor appointment to the next and trying to balance everything in between. <laughs> up and happy but I'm gonna go give all my babies some dinner and then get to bed myself so thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all tomorrow good night